Introducing Hanaro Stent for the esophagogastric junction. For cardia or lower part of esophagus, it is fully covered with two lassos for repositioning. The anti reflux valve is attached inside the stent to prevent gastroesophageal reflux. 12 radiopeg markers provide maximum visibility under fluoroscopy. This is another covered valve stent with a special feature, a segmented body. This is the esophageal bone-shaped, partially covered stent. Partially covered ends aid the prevention of stent migration of a covered stent. The unique nitinol hook structure with small cells provides long-term stent patency. This is a delivery device for the Hanaro Stent esophageal valve stent. The locking system prevents accidental deployment during placement. Flexible olive tip. Here are necessary tools for a stent procedure. Cannulation catheter. 20 cc injector. Contrast medium. Saline solution. 0.035 inch guide wire. Here is a short overview of esophageal valve stenting. Insert guide wire. Insert the catheter through endoscope. Slowly advance the guide wire and catheter. Inject contrast medium. And check the lesion size through fluoroscope. Withdraw the catheter and the endoscope. Lipidal subcutaneous injection is the first preferred option in order to get an accurate stent positioning with fluoroscopy guidance. Inject lipidal on the lower part of the stenosis. Inject lipidol on the upper part of the stenosis. A metallic paper clip is the most commonly preferred option in order to get an accurate stent positioning with fluoroscopy guidance. Directly fixed with transparent tape on the patient's skin on each end of stenosis. Before introducing the stent, please choose the stent with a length at least 4 cm longer than the actual stricture. Now, take the delivery device out of package. Inject saline solution into the hole of delivery device to make sure that inner path of the delivery device is smooth and clear. Advance delivery device along the guide wire. Advanced Endoscope Check the location of olive tip. Loosen the safety lock by turning it counterclockwise after checking the location of the stent. Deploy the stent by pulling outer sheath handle slowly while maintaining the location of the inner shaft handle. Check the endoscopic view of full deployment and drainage. Here are tips for stent removal using a snare. First, close the upper part of the stent by catching and pulling the lasso. Second, pull out the snare inside the working channel. Third, hold firmly the endoscope and the snare together 
Move back and pull out the stent. Thank you.